Okay, so the purpose of this video is going to be to show how to use blocks to arrange a song, um, not actually using blocks to put parts down, but to just lay out the structure of a song. Um, so I have an empty reason session here, and we're going to just go to the sequencer. And you'll notice over here you have your block and song setting default. It's on song. Um, and this is what most people do is they just arrange. It's what I do. They just arrange through the whole song um, without using blocks. But you can switch over to blocks and you'll see that um, you have a slightly different interface. You have this drop down menu here. So if you click on this, you have your different blocks. Um, and you can arrange things here and then put them down in the song to arrange things that way. But um, you can also, like I said, just use them to lay out the structure of a song. So we're going to start by renaming these. So you just double click right here and we can say intro. And you just drop down and go to the next one. You can do verse one or whatever your structure is. And you can also change the color of these because they decided to pick the worst colors um, for the default. So you can just um, pick ones you like by right clicking and going clip color and picking, oh, that's a pretty bad one, but pick ones that you like or whatever works for you. And once you're done arranging everything like that, um, order wise in your blocks here, we can go back to song. And then if you double click on this row right here, it'll come up with the first one in your list. So this will come up as intro and you can just click and drag it over. And you can just keep doing that. It'll, it'll come up with the first one in your list every time. So this will be intro again, but I can go ahead and click this and drop it down and it'll change it to my color and the name of course. And chorus and keep going um, depending on the amount of uh, bars that each of your parts are you can um, layer things out you can see that the colors change nicely as well so it makes it very easy to see where you are um, but you don't you're not actually using the blocks to arrange the song you can still just drop um, sequencer patterns and things in here without worrying what the blocks are doing so if we just take any um, instrument, we can still make our sequencers, um, sequ note lanes and all that good stuff and move them around like normal and just slap some stuff in here and you can see that the blocks are not affecting it at all. Um, so it's just really helpful to, to arrange things this way. Uh, so hopefully that was helpful.